Hello, connect, Connecting Day Ghana. My name is Araba Isoba Anand and I'm the CEO and creative director of a fashion brand in Ghana, in West Africa. So the brand is called Isoba, and this is a brand that uh, focuses on, uh, mainly on the woman, the African woman. So what we do is, um, we basically work with the woman through the changing phases of her life. And so, we are into different kinds of clothing, anything fashion related. So it can be something casual. It can be something that you can wear to work. It can be something that you wear for your big day, like your, your wedding or a christening or anything, your funeral. Is we, we just, that is, our, our, that is the brand and this is what we do. And so our tagline is, live love grow and thrive and that just gives you an idea of the kind of things that we do because other other fashion brands usually focus on a particular thing maybe they're doing just bridals maybe they're doing just casuals you know but then we do basically everything and so taking a look at that um recently we started our ready to wear line and then in that we started with a ready to wear maternity line. And so one thing we realized is that when, it, when women um, are expecting, one of the biggest issues that they have is how to look stylish and still be comfortable. You know, because at that time of a woman's life, it's, um, she's going through a lot of emotional, physical changes. And then most of the time they can't find clothes that are comfortable and still good enough um, in terms of stylish enough to wear. And so we started a, a collection called New Dawn Collection, um, signifying the start of a, you know, a new day, a new dawn. And that was um, the ready to wear maternity collection. And we focused on clothes that a woman can wear um, before, during, and even after she has her baby, something cost effective. And so that is, that is one of the most recent things. We, after that, we launched another collection, which is a, a, another ready to wear collection. And in addition to this, we do the custom made. So the bespoke where a client comes in and then can have their clothes custom made for them, made to fit. And with that one, we usually do with the bridals and occasion wear. So occasion wear is anything that you wear for an occasion. Let's say with the, um, you're a wedding guest, you're a party guest, it's your birthday, it's a, it's a big day of some sort. That's what we do with the bespoke. And so that is basically a server for you. One thing that we are really, really passionate about is um, promoting made in Ghana products. Now, um, if if you live in Africa, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have encountered a lot of foreign products, you know, coming into your country. In Ghana, we, we, we have a lot of that. So we have what we call the Obroni Wewu. That is 
um, literally trans translated, the white man has died. And Obroniwe basically refers to secondhand clothing or secondhand items, but I usually refer to clothing. And what that does is that people buy, you know, use stuff from the from the West at much cheaper prices. And in the West, I know it's called the thrift. And the thing is that these things have been compared and um, competing with the made in Ghana products that we have. And so you realize that people would rather go for that because it's cheaper as opposed to having something maybe custom made for them or having something um, made um, in Ghana that they can buy because usually the cost of production tends to be a little higher. And so we are just trying to um, promote the, the quality of of our 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 things, you know, to show that look, we can have stuff that can compete with the international markets, with products from the West and other parts of the world. I mean, Abroni World is not the only thing we have here, but um, people are more. I realize that people tend to lean towards purchasing items that are manufactured elsewhere, and for a long time, it was because of the, the quality of the items that were being produced in the country, but times have changed. And in this case, in my field, um, which is fashion, one thing that we really pay attention to is detailing the finishing of garments and just the overall quality. We do our best to put out the best quality that we can give to our clients and our customers so that we can you know, push the name of the country a little bit more and um so far that has not, that has not been bad the taste for better things and the finer things are is also growing in the country and so even Ghanaians are beginning to look inward and that's something i'm very excited about you have a lot of other other brands um, shoe makers um bag makers uh, people manufacturing furniture it's it's a it's really a boom that's happening right now and i'm very happy to be part of that another thing that i am personally very passionate about is uh recycling and um you know the environment and one way in which my company um contributes to environmental sustainability you know in our own small way what we do is that we try to minimize the use of plastics in our packaging and so um, instead of using plastic poly bags which is very very common in the country what we do is we wrap our our um, products that's the clothes if someone makes a purchase we wrap them in um, brown paper and then tie them with a jute um, a jute uh, string and then we just put our branding our sticker on there i mean it's not much but we have moved from using rubber bags to using that because plastics we all know the problem that the plastics are, have posed the world over and it's it's causing a lot of damage and harm to the environment if we don't take some steps now um only god knows where our, our children are going to be, what they're going to have to deal with. So that's one thing. I mean, we're also looking at ways in which we can recycle and um, encourage you know, that habit. Because apart from plastic, the second people, most people don't know that the second highest polluter in the world is fashion waste. Um, there's a lot of fashion waste in the system and it's also causing a lot of trouble. So these are some of the things that we are looking at. We are looking at how we can recycle maybe old fabrics, leftovers, how the kind of fabrics we, we use, you know, are they more biodegradable? The challenge is that you can't really find a lot of, um, um, for example, fabrics on the market that are very, that are so, uh, pure in, 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 the, in its composition. 
because um, the fabrics that are like that tend to be more expensive. For example, if you want something that is fully cotton, then you're probably looking at something like kente. Now, kente is a is a is like the royal fabric of Ghana. It's 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 very pricey, but it's what we boast with when it comes to our culture because when it comes to people celebrating the bigger events and the, the milestones of their lives, you usually find them using kente for their, their attire. So if they're getting married or they're, they're naming a child or something big of the sort, kente is what they use. And kente is made with cotton. It's a woven fabric. Now, the thing is that on the, on, on the date day, you you can't work into every day because it's it's not um economically it's, it's not even possible but if only we could have fabrics that are environmentally friendly if we had if we could have more of those then you realize that um we could help the environment better now we have some and um, we have the gtp fabrics and that is Ghana made. And we also have Printex. The only thing is that the challenge is that right now you have the influx of the um, fabrics from China. So the African print, what is generally known as the Ankara, it's called African print, but um, most of it, let me say a good 90% of it is not manufactured within the continent. It's manufactured in China and it's pushed onto the continent. And these are not pure um the the it's not maybe 100 percent cotton and so that's the challenge that's the challenge that we face but just to give you an idea this is what we do and so isoba is looking to break out of the ghana enclave and to you know get onto the bigger market to market our products to promote ghana promote ghanian culture um, encourage environmental sustainability and i mean just to give the, the world a bigger um, opportunity to experience what the ghanians are enjoying over here so that Thank you, Connecting Day Ghana, for this opportunity. And I really look forward to interacting and connecting with other um, participants on the platform.